I wasn't a good runner as a kid. I was okay, but not good. And then I took it up in my 40s and realized I actually was pretty okay at it for, for somebody my age. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, on the mile, I mean, I, I was still under six minutes in my 50s. So That's excellent. Um, I was able to keep a reasonable speed going for my age. Yeah. Um, and then I got interested in running further and what the meaning of it would be. Mm-hmm. And in 2015, we have, I don't know if you've come across park runs yet, which are 5K runs. Mm-hmm. Uh, every, every Saturday here, all th- throughout the country, there's several hundred of them in England. There's a few in the States. But it's free 5K for anybody who wants to turn up at 9 o'clock mm-hmm. and get an official time at the end of it. And I started doing park runs in 2015. And I said to my then youngest son, um, well, I said to the whole family at dinner, uh, who's going to come to park run with me and uh, join me on a, what is actually a, fairly hilly, muddy, rocky, (laughs) difficult route. And I was expecting a big chorus of no's around the table. Uh So my wife and three children. And my youngest son said, yes, I'll come and join you. And that was, uh, well, seven years ago now. And he carried on coming to every run with me every Saturday. And he's not a fast runner. Not at all. He's he's, he's slow. Um, But he's determined. And the practice of the two of us running together really made me think about this whole meaning of running with my son. Mm -hmm. And especially when my other son then joined us as well, who's older, uh, uh, who was that time, he's four years older than all of us, he'd have been 19. And I started realizing that what I was doing was imbuing in them a sense of the value of what they do as physically. Mm -hmm. What they physically do has value. Mm-hmm. And I taught them all of, from growing up that what they do intellectually has value. I taught them about education, how every qualification you get is a currency that you can never end up spending. Mm-hmm. You can spend it as often as you want and you'll never run out. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that the, the, introducing them to running was actually doing the same thing. They always would know they could run. They always knew how they could improve themselves physically. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it just became this thing. So all these mantras started coming out of it. And the, the, the one that gets frequently excited is no run is ever wasted. Mm-hmm. So you might go out on an eight mile run and you have to stop after six because of whatever your leg hurts or you, but it's not wasted. You did six miles. Right. Every run has value. And it's uh, uh, this whole idea of improving yourself through taking a positive attitude towards yourself physically uh, became a big thing that then developed in why running matters into this book which was written in the year I turned 50, so five years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, I simply described what I learned from running in every run I did. And then I honed it down from January to December. And I honed it down to you know, the, the best bits all the way through. So there were things there about what I learned about the um, marriage and the tenacity of working with things and uh, patience and... Um, allowing people to do their own separate thing. Mm-hmm. You learn all sorts of things from running. Um, I managed to injure myself in the course of the year as well, and I had to go through this period when I couldn't run, which, if you're a runner, is far harder than running. Yeah. Um, so uh, there, was, there was a bit with my um, youngest son when I, I did um, a, a 5K in less than 20 minutes the first time, and, uh, and he saw, he wasn't with me at the time, he 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 saw what I'd done on the result sheet at the end, and he phoned me up at my office, which he's never done. He's never done it before. He never did it since. Uh-huh. But he phoned me up to congratulate me because he knew what it would mean to me. Mm-hmm. So this whole idea of what new set of meanings, it's like you're opening a, a, a door to a whole new set of meanings in your life by doing this. So it's not just physical. It's, it's emotional. It's... Uh, um, good for your spirit. You discover more meaning in life, in in short.